All right, let me explain. Um, so, this is what had happened. So when I was younger, my sister and I had a babysitter who was a mom, and we would go to her house in like the morning, and then like she would drive us around places like with her son because like he was around our age, and he would start the car for her. So we would be out like in the car, and she would just come out, and we'd like you know leave, and so I would start our car in the mornings like before church and so i was like i don't know maybe like second or third grade and um so he taught me how to put it you know in drive and i didn't realize that that, that was the case so um one fine lovely sunday morning we were all going to church and um I was like, oh, I'll start the car as I usually did. And my fam was like, okay, cool, like, we'll be right out. And I was like, okay, cool, lit, great. And then I, uh, I was in the front seat, I was like the driver's seat, and my sister was in the passenger seat, which, um, and so I, you know, turned the car on and put it in, and I, like, went all the way as, like, the dude had taught me. And the car started driving, and I didn't obviously know how to like work any like the, like the gas and like brake pedals. So I was just pressing random stuff, hoping for the best, trying to make the car stop. And um, I pressed the gas by accident. By that time, my mom had like come outside and like was like trying to open the front like the door like by my like, my side, and she was um trying to you know put everything to a stop and um. I kind of accidentally drove over her foot. That wasn't good. Um, and then I kind of, sort of, may have basically driven the car into our landlord's fence. Literally the only reason that the car stopped was because my sister, I don't know how that she even did this, but she like reached over, like took a hold of, like, of the keys and pulled them out and they just came out. I don't know how they just came out. Maybe she twisted them, I, but I don't think she would have had time to like... The point is, is that um, if my sister had not reached over me, pulled the keys out, I don't, I don't think the car, like, I, I definitely would have crashed into a fence and maybe have kept going at the fence. It basically would have been really bad. But yeah, so um, shout out to uh, my sister for either just thinking on her feet or just acting on instincts or whatever the whatever she did she managed to get the key out of the keyhole and um save us both <laughs> sorry alicia for risking your life by accident um i didn't mean to do it but i'm glad you saved us both so you probably also saved us from getting kicked out of the house so that's also great i don't know where i was looking but if it was not at her or at the keys. I think I was just like looking straight ahead going like we, di we didn't go to church that Sunday. Um, your, your girl wasn't up to it but um it didn't quite make it to the fence but if it if there was like a, there's a one centimeter in between our car and the fence and um, I'm pretty sure that was like a morning that they weren't home. I don't think that they ever um, found out um, well maybe they did, I don't really know, I was too young to know what was happening. My parents probably let them know, it was like, hey, by the way, um, we almost walked to your fence, but we didn't, so. But, uh, yeah, so needless to say, um, I didn't drive until I was like 16. Now, I mean, I'm a, I'm a good driver now, but like, you know, we just... We, we don't talk about that time, occasion, event. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was the time that I essentially drove our family car into um, our landlord's fence. And, um, scarred myself traumatically for life, probably. This is gonna be a super short story time, but I felt like you know it was um, worth making one because I feel like that doesn't necessarily happen to everyone when they're like 
before the age of 10. M maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like this is a not, you know, everyday situation, not a normal event kind of thing. And the vents are turning on, so that is my cue to end this. Um, thanks for watching. Stay lit.